Hey folks, so um, Sunday update here, 26th of June. Um, it was a big week as anticipated. Um, we lobbied very hard for full PLS um, and a lot of pressure from the public and really appreciate everybody put their shoulder to the wheel and <clears throat> made a lot of noise. While we didn't get full PLS, we absolutely got our day in court down there and um, it's compressed PLS. Um, they can't use the official, you can't use that term officially because it doesn't exist. And it, get, it then officially became a joint housing committee meeting on the defective concrete block general scheme, something along them lines. But the reality was we had our day in court and had a good day. We got a full two hours to explore it, uh, what we wanted to put in our submission. Um, I thought the committee done a really excellent job in uh, cross-examining that and it gave us a chance to talk about what we were all very familiar with and to make our points loud and clear. Um, I think it then carried through and if you look at the housing department again they got a fairly you know hard run of it there um, pleased to say because I think people started to see what we've been, been put up with here for an awful long time so it was good to share that <clears throat> and let people see that sort of intransigence that we've been dealing with although I thought they put a good enough face on it on the day but you know we, we know what it has been like in behind the scenes and it hasn't been pretty and it's been extremely difficult a lot of the time um, we then had uh, SCSI with Engineers Ireland. You know, Engineers Ireland talking about things like this is still going on today. They're at least aware of one quarry that's servicing two counties, that being Carlow and Wexford, where they're still, in their opinion, defective concrete blocks being, being manufactured. Absolutely unbelievable. And I'll go back to what we said before. If this department put half the effort into turning off the tap, and making sure that they're sorting the quarries out, that they're putting in the effort to keeping every last penny of the homeowners as best they possibly can, it might be time better spent if they, and if they have got genuinely the interest of the state at heart. So um, I think a lot of that got exposed. None of that would have happened. None of that would have been on record, which it is for evermore men in the Arctis. I think it was really good that we got our chance not to shout from outside the Arctis, but inside and to quite a powerful housing joint housing committee there so i thought i was really pleased with how that went <clears throat> i think we also got a good chance to talk about the rates the scsi rates and that they're not they're not 100 percent redress as they currently stand because of the exclusions no harm to scsi they were just told what they could allow for in price and what they couldn't the department again were in the background making it happen and if you think about it the reason we went for scsi was that we couldn't trust the department in the first place so when they couldn't put the numbers to it they decided what the spec was in terms of the regulations. There's going to be the building regulations, which is 2007. They decided that there'd be no finishes allowed for all this type of stuff. Again, managed to get their paws on it. And that's what we've been up against all along. So I think we, we used strong terms, coercive control in there. Um, you know, that's what it's, it's felt like. And we said it as we, as we felt it. And uh, I was really pleased with how... Um, I'm well familiar with Martina um, Hegarty and County Mayo, but I was really pleased at how County Clare came in there and flew the flag and were very, very strong on the day. I thought Martina Cleary done a brilliant job there. Um, and she, she brought in the doctor as well, was able to talk about the impact of this black mold that a lot of people have in Donegal here in their kitchens and stuff. And, you know, I think all of this has to be heard. That's a story that has to be told, and I think we've got a chance to do it. So I was really pleased with how that went. Where it'll really bottom out now is the recommendations that come from that, from the Joint Housing Committee, will be tabled, and I would like to think that'll be, you know, in the next couple of days, um, sent to the Minister. He, he will have to acknowledge it, and then he rejects it or he accepts them. I don't imagine he'll be accepting everything um, without going through the the Arctis. so these will be heavily debated then on the floors of the Shannon and the Dial and um, you know there'll be amendments tabled we'll be instrumental in tabling them from a homeowner perspective and we've got good relationships and far better and stronger relationships from having spent that day down there a lot of them coming up and say we just we, you know we knew about you but we didn't really know what it was that was going on until we were tuned in there and listening to it and blown away by it so that's really good. And these people are people that are going to have votes in this stuff at the end down in that dial. So very, very important. And it's important that we keep, you know, the government's feet to the fire here now until we get this over the line, whatever way it goes. All right. And that'll be, we fork, they're telling us middle of July, 
we've never seen them meet a date yet so I wouldn't be booking any holidays uh, in the month of July anyway I think we'll probably take the most of that month we'll see how all that ends up so that's the stuff that's going on there um, but you know a really good week for us and uh, you know I want to give a shout out to the Donegal team um, Aidan Howden took a day off work to come down there to uh, do his bit for us and I thought did it very very well and exposed the shortfalls when it comes to the smaller houses exposed the difference between SCSI rates through this uh, eligible costs dictated by the department versus the true rates and I think he done that very very well and that was reinforced again by some of the people in the committee one of them a contractor himself was able to talk about the rates and tied in nicely with what Aidan talked about so that was all very good Paul Dunlop on holiday done a brilliant job uh, dialed in supported the, the, the star you know the, the heavyweight that came in to support us being uh, Andreas Lehman and uh, you know again I'll also mention um, not one of our campaigners but you know take the business post and Donald McNamee that reached out to Andreas Lehman then and got a chance you know when you weren't in that sort of a pressure cooker environment to talk to him and understand what was going on and um, put a very good article together on it as well so a lot of people working working on our behalf there so um, that was all very good and um, you know I want to talk as well to the team behind the scenes there we've got Sarah we've got Lisa and the mag team in particular the two of them and we've got Barry Kearney always involved very tuned in great guide in hand all along there and uh, with Michael Carr as we always had and uh, Paddy never far away holidays or not Paddy will be in there and making his presence felt and that was all great and uh, I think you know that that stood to us very well Martina and her team in Mayo we knew about Martina Cleary like I say and Claire and her team we'll be hearing more from them we'll be working more with them and we've got to get this all right for us all at the end of the day we've now 13 counties that's half the counties in the Republic of Ireland where there is no defective concrete blocks and they're still manufacturing them says it all so anyway that's all that we will be positive about this and we'll follow this process through but we'll not be naive and we will be watching it like a hawk and all of the tds who said they're going to support us where are they in the end the councillors need to really get off their backsides here and put pressure like never before on their tds and the tds in turn put that pressure like never before on their party leaders to make sure that the right thing is done this time not another bite at it in six months time or 12 months time if that's the case we'll be looking to do that with another government not this one this is their last chance to get it right but that pressure is going to be on there the tds these affected counties they really need to decide whose side they're on they can't be on both the only way they can be on both is if come the end of july or middle of july whatever it works out at we get the scheme we deserve and it's right this time that's the only way they can get both if that's wrong, they will have to call it out. Are they on the side of the people or are they on the side of the party? And I really hope they do the right thing for our sake, but also their own and their political career. You'll not go back to your constituents and uh, waffle the way it might have worked before. It's a very simple yes or no, people or party. So that's that. A couple of other things that I uh, just want a, a quick shout out on as well. On the fundraising end, Caroline Callahan, who had this... I don't know if you remember this or not. Caroline done all the work on this, put it out as school stories, school kids' stories, and everything. Come back there with 700 euro for Mike Action Group, which I really appreciate. Caroline, thanks a million. Um, and then Don McGonagall, I want to give a quick shout out to as well. They had their, uh, this is the Upper Hotel in Battle It was their 40th year in business as a family business. And uh, Don putting 50% of his proceeds to Mike Action Group. We had a really brilliant night, really delighted, a great family, a great hotel, been around a long, long time, and actually part of it as well, also caught in this, but isn't, that's not what it was about for him, it was the homeowners out there and getting the right things done by them. So a lot of support last night, a really, really enjoyable night, uh, I have to say, but a lot of people thankful for all the efforts that you know the people in the campaign are uh, putting in there, and that's not just me, there's a far wider team in behind that. And then with all the counties really stepping up here. So all good. Keep the chins up. But we'll keep our guard up along with it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>